hearing voter turnout may be record breaking. Polls were packed today. On the Democratic side, it is down to the wire. Right now, Sanders is leading Clinton. And Donald Trump rolled to victory in the Michigan Republican primary. We have team coverage tonight. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini is in Redford, where a ballot shortage kept voters waiting there at the polls. But we begin with our Jonathan Carlson live in Detroit at a Hillary Clinton watch party. A lot of nervous people there, Jonathan. Yeah, talk about a nail biter. Let me step out of the way to give you a live look. This is either going to turn out to be a party or these folks will be drowning their sorrows in beer shortly. Sources tell me the Clinton folks always knew this would be close. A packed house at this Detroit bar as supporters of frontrunner Hillary Clinton waited on results. Every place she went, the crowds were huge. They were enthusiastic. Mayor Mike Duggan and Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, two of her political allies in this primary. We have been so focused on putting Hillary Clinton in the office. GOP frontrunner Donald Trump holding no watch party in town, but former House Majority Leader Rocky Rakowski was out conducting exit polling with Newsmax, a conservative media outlet. You're starting to see a tremendous uh, sway towards Trump amongst a lot of voters, and that's because they're upset with what they call the establishment. Because now Michigan sets the trend for what will happen in Ohio and Florida. Now again, we're here with Hillary Clinton's campaign because this is the only major candidate gathering taking place in the Detroit area tonight. Mrs. Clinton is in Cleveland right now and her staff closely monitoring Michigan from there and here on the ground. We're live in Detroit. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jonathan. And the votes have all been cast tonight, but not without major issues for some voters in Redford. Our team coverage continues tonight.